Um, I've been writing and acting in my own plays for like 20 years and uh, have kind of always thought in the back of my mind that perhaps one day I would do a movie, but it just seemed like such an audacious, expensive thing to pursue that it took a while for me to hit on the right story that seemed like appropriate for me to perform in, but also uh, direct. Oh, thank you so much. The movie has an unusual tone. It's funny, but also kind of uh, focusing on these big, weighty themes. And the cast I was able to put together were just the perfect group of people because they are generally funny people, but they're not comic actors. And so they can play the gravity, they can play the, uh, the um, kind of fraught, complicated feelings that they're all experiencing while also keeping an eye on the kind of lighter tone that the movie's trying to balance. I really fell re-in love with Poland. Um, my family comes from there. Uh, we filmed at the house that my family lived in up until 1939. There's actually a shot from inside the window of my, my, my great aunt Doris, who, who was uh, uh, like my personal mentor. And uh, so it was really autobiographical and special. And on the other hand, it was also, uh, I was also there as a tourist and getting to see these incredible cities uh, travel the countryside. Um, so it felt at once that I was visiting something foreign and also something very personal. Um, yeah, early on in writing the script, I decided I wanted it to all be scored by Chopin, who's a Polish composer. And so I wrote the scenes to the specific pieces that play in the movie. I would play this pieces on set so that the so that the crew and the cast understood the pacing of the scenes and what would be playing underneath the underneath the various sequences so that we all felt like we were part of this thing that was already uh, emotional, that it wasn't just this intellectual exercise of figuring out what the scenes would be, but actually this emotional, visceral experience as well. I want to do it. The, the simple, really boring answer, you hear a lot of, woo, the script. It's a script. It was a brilliant piece of writing, I thought, and um, I immediately understood who this character was by just reading the first couple of pages of the two of them having dialogue. I felt like I could understand uh, the history of these two. I felt like I, it was built into just the first little bit of dialogue. I went, oh, I, I can visualize their past. I can feel it, and I kind of know who this guy is. And then, but, or so I thought, because I'd, as, as I'd read on, and I feel like I had a good grip on who this character was, uh, he would respond with something completely surprising. That would make me laugh out loud and went like, oh, I want to go in and play this guy who is often surprising, and I think he himself doesn't know how he's going to respond to something. The people around him don't know if he's going to come in hot or if he's going to be very gentle and nice about something. You never really know. And going in there and playing, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to like prepare ahead of time because this is not the kind of guy who thinks before he speaks and not know what the temperature is going to be until we're in there doing it you know and that was a lot of fun to get to do and to get to do it with the writer who was sort of willing to go like yeah let's play it's pretty great I mean sure it's it's a complex character for sure but I also felt like you know Jesse had done a lot of that work by putting it on the page and I didn't want to overthink it I felt that it would have been the wrong sort of thing. Um, I just wanted to go in there and feel out the other person and I don't know, I think sometimes if you, if it clicks and you get it, maybe after the fact I can analyze how that happened, uh, which is to say there's one, which is um, when I sat down in an audience next to my wife who watched it for the first time, as I was watching it, I was like, oh, that reminds me of someone and she leaned in and said that guy's name and I went, oh, she just said it, I didn't say anything, she just leaned in said the guy's name and I was like, oh fuck, you're right. Uh, but I wasn't aware of that when we shot it. I wasn't aware that that's what I clicked with, but it was, there was something in my brain that went, I know somebody like that, and I guess to some degree that was, that was in there, but I wasn't doing it on purpose. So, I got to experience it as the character Benji did. I didn't really get to like see it much. Uh, we would shoot these six day weeks and on the seventh day we were traveling to the next town so there wasn't really like a day off to really take it in and those days that we were shooting were very long days but you see us as the characters taking these sites in and taking the stuff in that was what we were doing in real time so I, what was Poland like? It's like I don't know watch the movie that was what it was whatever it was to the character that's how it was for me. The, the way I've always seen it is once it's done we're done making it I go home and however somebody perceives the thing is none of my business. So so it's nice though, I will tell you, 
the, the difference being like I've been a part of things where maybe I like it or whatever. Um, maybe audiences don't connect with it and I don't really care. Like, it's fine. But there's something nice when you put in this much work into something and you really care about it. It's nice when it connects with people. It is. Um, I would have been proud of the film either way, but it's nice to be getting a positive response wherever we go. It feels, it feels that way too. Like I said about, uh, you know, my wife coming to see it, like she's seen it three times and uh, she was supposed to come tonight, but I was like, she couldn't. But I was like, you don't have to sit through it again. She goes, no, I want to. And I'm like, that's nice. I've been with her for 13 years. She doesn't always do that. You know, she likes things I'm in, but she doesn't always like, you know, want to see it again. That's weird. You know, it says something. I think that it's really a movie about relationship and loneliness and alienation and identity and pain and how we all carry our pain differently and everybody has pain and some people have it are covert pain carriers and some are just hot messes and and it looks really obvious and people can recoil from it but the truth is it's the empathy that I think this movie it really uh, it it demands and it shows how much everybody is suffering and that there is the like you know fancy problem pain that we feel is somehow not legitimate in the face of looking at you know historical his, historical trauma and like the worst kind of imaginable pain suffered by our ancestors and so the idea is life is full of pain and joy and connection and disconnection and alienation and kindness and hatred and horror and it's just it's just this mu this movie is so it's so much about it's a human beautiful movie about what it is to be alive and I believe that in this relationship within this tour uh, you know I believe I've come into this tour from a after a 20-year marriage and my life is just blown up and I kind of don't I, I'm in pieces and I don't know who I am anymore except I know that I used to be this other version of myself and I am trying to find my way back and so I've gone on this excuse me I put myself in this tour to retrace you know what my mother you know when she was a young girl she fled the camps and so I go there hungry for connection hungry to be seen and I meet Benji who's played by Kieran and there is this instant connection of he sees me I see him my mother energy is just like I am a mother I am a mother the character's a mother and that mother energy when she sees him and his pain I think it she just really wants to help him manage it and also not deny it and identify with it and make him feel less alone and he makes her feel less alone so it's kind of it's it's a lot of words to answer you but that's how I feel about it it's like a, a tapestry of humanity and we're all in this really stressful situation because we're all these strangers thrown together in this kind of forced intimacy and then all of a sudden we are looking and experiencing what it's like to be in a concentration camp and I think that brings up it breaks everybody open everyone's heart is broken open a hundred times and also the amount of humor and love and tenderness and care and neglect and all of the things that make up this beautiful life that we get to live uh, well, so I play James, who is um, the tour guide uh, for the group uh, as they travel around Poland and learn about uh, Jewish history uh, within Poland. Um, and I guess, you know, when I first talked to Jesse about James, he sort of described him as somebody who has zero bad intentions. He's not himself Jewish, but he is passionate about this history and he really wants to educate the group and to, you know, um, there's, no, there's like not a bad bone in his body and so I think that was the main takeaway for me was that he's a very earnest, innocent creature and uh, as the film plays out, Benji, the character that Kieran plays, he kind of is so raw and honest and unfiltered with everyone uh, and sort of makes his mark on each of us uh, sort of by turns and for Jesse's character David that's kind of 
fascinating but also frustrating because, you know, um, Benji, for example, with James, he kind of starts questioning his methodology. He's like, this tour is so cold, it's full of facts, it's too much information, it doesn't feel real. Shouldn't we be more emotionally connected? with you know with the stuff that we're talking about uh, and rather than sort of offend my character it almost seems to break him open and it, he sort of starts to almost fall in love with the guy for it and he's grateful for it